You mind waiting five minutes? Five minutes for me? I'm just gonna try some for the internet connection. Just like stop it and we do like I'll be back on in like three minutes. Like, yeah, yeah. No, all good. Me. What's up, guys? I'm back. Hopefully, it's hey, better. You sound better. Yeah, it yeah. sounds good. Smoother. Yeah, guys. That's so many years in, in college. You know. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his tech degree. He's he, he knows to unplug the modem and plug it back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't tell all my secrets, Greg. Come on. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red's Rewind, episode number four. We're keeping this train rolling, and we've got another trio of great guests and a great TFC match to look back on. This one just from last season, 2019. Another great match between TFC and Atlanta United. Seems like there's always something between these two teams, and this one was no exception. A really fun night in the summer uh, last year at BMO Field. So let's get right into it with our, our three guests. Jacob Schaffelberg, who made his TFC first start uh, in that game. Jacob, what's going on, man? Uh, not much. Been keeping busy. Uh, newly a dad of a dog named Frank, so he's been keeping me on my toes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I enjoyed the uh, the trick shot challenge, getting the dog involved as well. That's good yeah, stuff. Of course. Uh, Subasa Endo, it was, a, it was a eventful game for you as well, Sue. But what do you remember from that one? Yeah, I mean, that was my first start of the season. So, um, yeah, that was definitely a memorable game for me. And uh, Quentin Westberg, man of the hour, of course. That was a, a big game for yourself as well. A crazy ending there, which I'm sure we'll get into. How have you been, Q? Um, I've been great. Thank you. Congrats, Jacob, on the new addition to your family. Appreciate that. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for an addition on my own. Different kind of human being, but <laughs> probably just, keep me busy also. Just a little bit more responsibility, <laughs> I imagine. But you're you're a, a seasoned bit. veteran at this point, right, you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A veteran, Bowie, a family veteran for sure. All right, so let's uh, let's get into it. We got TFC versus Atlanta United from June 26th, 2019. Uh, let's watch it back and uh, see what we can get to. As we get ready for the start of a Wednesday night match of Toronto FC, Atlanta United here at BMO Field, MLS. You saw Tabasso Endo there. He'll get his first start. Jacob Schaffelberg will start on the left side. The 19-year-old. Uh, first start for Suba. First MLS start for Jacob. Not bad. Dallas. And their head coach now marking a fifth-year Greg Panning. Yeah, we'll Pretty exciting start of the game for them also. Formation and yeah. Look at that lineup. No Josie, no Bradley, no Pazuelo. Or no Altidore, rather. There was a pretty, a pretty particular part of the season for us at that moment, huh? We were like, yeah. I think we were barely 20 at practice. It was a Gold Cup and we had quite a few injuries. Yeah, no. We just didn't have enough people up here. And prior to that game, we didn't like. Didn't we show up into that game like thinking we're gonna play three five two? And yeah, we switched, like overnight. Yeah, yeah I was gonna yeah. be a wing back. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it comes. <laughs> oh, super. First, first, but first, first touch of the season. I, in an yeah. <laughs> I honestly blocked out after I touched the ball. I was like, yeah, I, I thought I this was like fifteen it. minutes in. <laughs> I, yeah, I did not know it was 40 seconds in. 30 seconds in. That's the fastest yeah. goal in TFC history. But did, did you know I that had at no the time? Idea. No, 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 not at all, to yeah. be honest. I just, uh, after the game, and then all the meters asked me about it, and I was like, I had no idea. I didn't get the assist on this goal, which is, I don't know no. how I feel about it. Really? Yeah. I mean, I kind of shanked it, but. <laughs> it's a good thing you had a better one afterwards, huh? <laughs> Because <laughs> this is not like a. I could have shanked it on purpose though, because Kyle went right to his foot. Jacob, any nerves for you in your first start uh, in Toronto in front of your family, friends? Yeah, a lot. Of, I had a lot of nerves going into it, and then once the game started, I was fine. But the lead up was, especially when they said the name at the start, like the the fans say the last name, that was pretty crazy. To hear everyone. Speed of 19-year-old Jacob Schaffelberg already showing itself. Yeah, just keep putting that in behind. Inside Michael Brock Parkhurst. My hair is looking nice, honestly. <laughs> I need that haircut again. <laughs> Brad Guzan has played all the games for Atlanta. He comes 
appreciate that, Q. You were coming off of uh, Goalkeeper of the Week performance. It was actually a game that we lost, I think, 3-0 down in, in Dallas. Remember that one as well? <laughs> yeah, I remember it really clearly. It was a pretty busy night. And it kind of gives you, like, you know, a little bit of a, a fright just to think about. We lost 3-0 and, yeah. You were still go and you were still mad of the match and game he lost three nothing. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, tells absolutely. you something. It could have been one of these very, very bad nights. It, it was a, it was a bad one, but yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I forgot about that. A pre pretty decent start of the game, huh? Yeah. Got this. Jeez. <laughs> you put that one in there. It's a little overcooked. Yeah. A little, a little overcooked. When they give up their first goal. Look, you wearing the armband in this one. Yeah, it was my first game. Oh, yeah, he was first game wearing the armband. It was quite a surprise. You the first game being captain? Yep. But oh. it's truly a great honor. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Jacob is so fast. This guy's unbelievable. <laughs> he didn't touch the ball. I don't know what he's complaining about. <laughs> I know, right? I said the same thing to Caldwell last week. I'm like, why is it when there's a, such a clear, obvious foul? The defenders yeah. still get up and protest to the ref. I don't understand. <laughs> That's 100% emotions, huh? Just like, I don't know. You know, you yeah. I mean, try, 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 yeah, yeah, you didn't touch the ball. That's a stone cold point in the ball. Suba, is, is Jacob the fastest guy on the team? Anyone give him a run for his money? Jaden. Jacob or Chris, I would say. Jaden's fast. But he thinks he's fast faster than you are. He thinks he's faster. Than me. It's because <laughs> no, he ran. He ran like a thirty, or like a, one of those thirty-yard dashes faster than me. I still think he's faster. faster. I'm more of a game type fast. I think. Uh, Wait till he cuts his hair and he's like uh, yeah. <laughs> seconds, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, just. This was unbelievable. Oh, Especially. this one, huh? That's Didn't they whistle it like 30 seconds afterwards? And like, we had just given up a PK in Vancouver, two in KC, two against KC. Like, VAR yeah. was like, just like, traumatizing me at that time. Like, the ball is <laughs> all the way over and they're going to come back. At least with the ball. And then they call it back, no? Yeah, he's in the all the other side of the field. Spoiler alert. <laughs> that wasn't a line. And VAR is only getting started. Uh, well yeah. done. Good game. Yeah, this game was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> really don't want to spoil it, but just, yeah, it's traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> Post-match at TFC, just get together. Yes, it's a disappointment. It's still a long Sorry, we'll get him next time. Too. <laughs> Great choice, huh? What are you thinking about when a when a guy like that steps up? Are you are you trying to read his hips? Or is it just a total guess? It's uh, no, it's uh, in instinct and also you know the the patterns that he previously had taking PKs because JC does a great job at collecting all PKs and everything. So it's a little bit it's a mix of both. You know, you you study the player a little bit, but I I've always told JC and I've always been like that. I rely on my instincts a lot. So wow, it's just so unlucky though. Yeah, this moment of the year though, you're feeling your like yeah. nothing is going your way, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah for sure. I think we were in like it was our eight. Like, we had gone eight games without winning or something. Yeah. That moment, you know, when you think about the first 10, 15 minutes, how how we were under control and how we kind of lost it against you know against the curse of the game. Down two one. Yeah, just one moment it could change the game. 20 minutes in. Yeah, I'm going to say 20 minutes. De Leon has Pozuelo. Pozuelo. Oh, uh, Nick was playing as a number eight after playing full back, <laughs> after playing right mid. Oh, yeah, Nick played everywhere. Uh, yeah, he can play everywhere, actually. Pretty sure he came in a couple of games as like a number 10 or uh, just right underneath the forward. What a ball, Jacob. Yeah. I just kind of threw it in there. <laughs> Bend it like Beckham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know who David Beckham is? 
Jacob, have you ever seen him play? <laughs> With your pacifier in your mouth? <laughs> Left footed Beckham. Look, he's shouting for it. He wants to. It was so close to getting intercepted here. Did you aim for Ale? Uh, I'm not really. I, I <laughs> <didn't just talk laughs> Dude, you got to take that. I put it in the mixer. I put it in the mixer hoping someone would be there. Oh, man. Don't say that. that. Oh, that was a heat-seeking missile for Pose. Come on. Come on. You got <laughs> yeah. to know that. Yes. Yeah. You had to be accurate given the size of the guys in the box. Suba and Ale, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know? <laughs> just outside the area. Petuela. Right back. <laughs> Jacob, basically, you had one good cross. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just getting corners for the, for the team, you know. It's like your 50th touch on the ball, huh, probably. Richie, Busy always. Oh, this was when Richie was a madman every single time he got fouled. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he must lead the league in, in fouls drawn. Every time he gets on the ball, someone's hacking him down. Yeah. yeah. He's so good at using his body. Yeah, it's always the same. He gets in front and then he gets tackled. Yeah, every time. This point. Done. Okay. Were you expecting the ball, Suba? Was there actually space or it's just like one of these like emotion hands in the air? <laughs> no kind of. More, more of emotion. You know? <laughs> more emotion, right? <laughs> A little bit like Pichi Martinez, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Gonzalez Perez. Does it really down. well there? Shufflebuck will naturally do that. And Deli on then becomes a central striker. Key timing of the movement between. These crosses, man, Jacob. I keep telling you this, but they put central defenders on so much pressure, under so much pressure. Yeah. You know, you're facing your, you're facing your goal, running towards your goal, and having like a, a cross blasted like this. It's, it's hard to do anything with it. Well, when you're a defender, yeah, and when you're a forward, yeah. if you hit it properly, it's like you do all the job for us. And Westberg will take charge neatly, just couldn't control. And there is the whistle from Mr. Kelly to. He's a little half there, a lot of action for 45. Yeah. Uh, it was like a perfect night to the weather. Yeah. It's probably one of the first warm days in Toronto, <laughs> June 25th. I can't wait for that kind of weather. We'll be back. This makes me miss it so much. Yeah. And the pitch, the quality of the pitch also, this I miss. Like, probably more than the sun. Lofted in for Westberg. Still now pushes it off. Here's Schaffelberg. Hey, listen, you're giving him stick, but all Jacob's doing is just serving up dimes. Yeah, I, in I, your I box. just put it in the mixer where, where somebody might be. That's all you need. I love me. You could have had like three assists in this game. Yeah, I, I had one to right? pause. The one yeah. with the. Yeah. And you still have one and a half. That's pretty good. Yeah. Show me two. I can't believe they didn't give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> It was your first start. They like they were. Yeah, they couldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> it a decent the diving header there from Marky. Yeah, that's good. Ways. Yeah, and it's probably his like fiftieth run into the box. <laughs> See Marky, Nick, Suba being in the box so much already. Parker's trying to step around Simo. Gets it back. Out comes Westberg. Missed the punch, but it just ricocheted. Under control. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I have a selective memory. I totally forgot about this one, but I understand why. <laughs> Rich. He's <laughs> always getting so grumpy. Always. Every time. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, I remember this one. I this one was so oh, bad. I didn't even notice that was going to happen. I didn't know what he was passing to. And then I just see Suba there. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's was that, was that for number, number nine? No, this was for Suba, 100%. Yeah. Going alley, 100%. Yeah, that he loves these passes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, this Goodbye. is the one, no? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah to Ale. Oh. Yeah, that was the one. Oh, Jacob, that could you have been that one like... back. Wow. Yeah. It's okay. He, he already had one in the game. Having... Can't ask for two headers from from yeah. <laughs> The first one must have been harder though. First one, I, yeah. He had too but much yeah, time to think about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's oh. oh. Yeah, so one time I shoot it. The one time I shoot it. <laughs> Although when you look back, you don't really look back first. Everybody gets emotional. I would have liked to oh, have this one almost had one too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Probably won that first touchback. Yeah, he's probably running from across the field in the 80th minute. Yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> Everyone's all up. J Mo and Richie are both in the box. Imagine. Wait, Jacob, did you play the whole game? Yeah, I was almost, I was like ready to come on, like right now. And then oh, okay. he just, I was dead. I was so tired at the end of this one. <laughs> yeah. Exciting game. Time added on for. Yeah, there's Ayo. Yeah, he's ready to go on for me, and they just. Oh, yeah, Richie. Oh, Richie. Here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. All happened after he's 91 so good minutes. At this. Wow. But, but at that point, you almost wonder if they're going to give it to us. There's a chest touch. Pop was trying to get by. I think he dives. Three. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like this. You, you can tell Guzan's afraid of getting shipped down the middle. He doesn't move until the very last yeah. second. Yeah. 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 And if you, if you don't choose a side against Ale, he's going to hit it so far away from you. Like, the guy has no hips. Like, he, he strikes it so hard with the inside of his foot. Yeah. Like, he's not even trying. Yeah. Like he truly needs to be committed to miss it if you don't pick a side. Only two minutes of added time, huh? Um, 95th. This one. I, I need to see this Q, one again. Q, did you know what happened there? Of course I did. The guy, no, no, I hadn't seen uh, Nick's hand, but like everyone came to me and Pogba told me in French, like, he hit it with his hand, he hit it with his hand. Yeah. And at some point I was all running around the ref, like, what are you checking? It's it's done. You whisper. I, and you know, some of, the guys, some, some of the guys were saying, he, he, he actually whistled the end of the game. What if we just said, like, we headed straight to the locker yeah. room? Like, That's what we were doing. That's what Greg was saying. Greg was just like, everyone gets to the locker room. Yeah, let's just like, go. Right, let's let's go. go. First win right here. I just kind of wanted to celebrate a little bit. <laughs> He's like, I'm right in the locker room. Once you blow the whistle, you can't take it back. Oh, wow. What a feeling, huh? <laughs> like, I didn't even what save it, but it was like, that was hype. <laughs> a save that's not a save, you know? Wow. That was close, though. That was close. Gives it too much over the crossbar in the stadium. He tried to go the other way, probably the side he's not as comfortable it's with, or he wanted to, 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 to get it over with. He didn't really want to take the PK, it felt like. You know, he struck it so hard, you know, it's like, I need to be done with it. Yeah. I remember that being such a weird feeling sitting up in the press box. Like, the, the music's playing, the fireworks are going off, and all of a sudden, everyone's like, wait, is the game still going on yeah. right now? Yeah, I, was, I haven't seen that, like, highlights before, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's 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 the idea. Is we want to try to get you like fresh going into it, so like it just stirs a memory. Like, Jacob, you watch the highlight before going. No, I watch. I watch. Like, the, I watch the certain highlights. You I watch should. The, 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 my, the my assist. Start, man. Man. Are you kidding? Come me? on, Jacob. That was a wild match. I feel like that. Uh, that might have been one of the the catalysts of the season. Because if, if if that one goes the other way and you end up losing a game after that, I mean, maybe maybe uh, you don't pick up those points and, and the, the run doesn't happen there towards the, the later part of the season. I think it was a really important one for the group, you know. Um, 
everybody everybody at, at that moment had been used had had like a decent chance had like four five six games you know under their belt for the most part and you know it was a part of the season it was during the gold cup i think and we still had yeah, a lot so of injuries so yeah. at that point in the season like and for the like two three games afterwards basically everyone had a chance to start and showcase what he was able to do and then just like a few weeks later everyone was back back in and the competition just raised you know the the, the, mm. the competition level throughout our own group and that's that i think personally is what what made the run to the mls cup you know possible we had a good start to the season and that kind of went down a bit and that that kind of this game kind of brought us back up i think which was really interesting to see like a mid-season from there on and we just like just kept going up the the table which was cool i mean i feel like that was the defining moment for us and you know because we were winning a lot of games before that so and then we were able to win in front of fans and everything so you know at the end like it was we were able to win so it was it was perfect well i, I know us uh, in in studio everyone all the fans really miss uh being back at bmo and all, all those moments that we uh that we shared together but i hope everyone's staying home and staying safe so we can get back there as soon as possible uh, i want to thank our guests jacob schaffelberg stubasa endo quentin westberg thank you so much for joining us on this episode of reds rewind and we'll catch you next time